What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It's another What's Coming Thursday video as we look ahead to tomorrow. Will we get a new Showtime summer transfer or something along that line? I do think that we might, but with the Player of the Week's backs now, and I do think that they will add a new summer transfer nominating contract when eFootball v4.0 is out. Depends how popular these summer transfer Showtimes are. If they're really popular, we'll know about it because we'll get a new pack tomorrow. Also with the objectives, a lot of people have already cleared these, including myself. Will they extend those? There's a little tick beside it that they're complete, but they could also always just add more if the demand is there. Otherwise, you're just going to get your login bonus. As ever, we do know the player of the week is back. And of course, the leagues are back as well. And we know what players we're going to have as well here. So I'm going to confirm these three players for you based on the silhouettes in the trailer here or the little mock-up that Konami have put out on Twitter. So it looks like it is going to be Diaz, the Liverpool man, had a really good game against United. I mean, yeah, I'm a United fan, so I'll say no more. We also have Nick Pope, who seems to be the goalkeeper here. That, that aligns up with his uh, picture here and this image. And then uh, Turam there as well looks to be the main guy. Now, it looks like Diaz is going to be getting the booster, which is in... It's kind of... Yeah, I would say that Diaz is going to get a booster. We'll talk about who else I think is going to get a booster as well in just a second. I have a couple of mock-ups done here. But yeah, Turam, Pope, and Diaz. I mean, obviously, you could have given it to a few Liverpool players, Salah there as well. But I do think that Diaz will be an interesting one, especially if he's got a nice booster. Um, it depends because, you know, he was really, really good at the start of eFootball 23, I think it was. Um, but he's kind of gone down the pecking order. There's just so many good wingers in the game now, you know, Bale and Beckham and, you know, Son, Rafael Leao. There's just so many guys there that can, that can rip you a new one. So, these are the players that I think could also come. You've got Isaac, you've got Erling Haaland with another hat-trick. I mean, he just scores hat-tricks for fun, to be honest with you. And then I don't think Konami will be able to resist giving Kylian Mbappe another card and also a booster. I do think that they'll give him his first booster card and a first proper Real Madrid card here, which could be... Listen, every card of Mbappe is going to be beastly, no matter what you do or what way you play him. He's just so good in the game, and it's just built in that he's a beast. And I do think that he will be there or thereabouts for a booster. We also have these three here as well, Rafinha, Openda, and Katamo. So this guy scored a really nice goal. You have Rafinha in that 7-0 drubbing, and then Openda, of course, Leipzig, and Leverkusen, their first loss in a long, long time in the league, in the Bundesliga, Rafinha, center stage there, I mean, obviously, because he's a partner club, you could also have Harry Kane, you could have, you know, anybody that scored from the partner clubs as well, but let's see what happens, right, we also have maybe new boosters coming, and new epics coming, now, I've been saying in the last video or two that I've done on these unreleased legends, if you've missed it, you can check it out, will they hold off on these until launch of eFootball 25? Uh, I don't know, I don't know, honestly, I don't know, they could drop them tomorrow as well, there are a couple of packs, but they'll either drop a national team pack, or they'll drop a domestic league pack, or else they'll hold them all for eFootball 25. We will be streaming tomorrow, a couple of things to talk about, a couple of things to announce, and we'll probably be doing a test stream on Twitch tomorrow as well, if not Thursday, Friday, definitely, where we test some things out, new animations and all that sort of stuff, overlays, etc., as we gear up for eFootball v4.0, so I hope to see you guys in the live stream. Let me know if you guys think all of these players will come or if I miss somebody. And don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 50k. Let's go.